Hello everyone. This is me Bimal Nepal. In this video, I am going to show you how to plot uh, crystal structure using X Christian and uh, LMTO with the help of LMTO program. Uh, here, uh, first uh, you need to have uh, X Christian and LMTO installed on your PC. If you don't have uh, X Christian installed, you can simply go to terminal like this and uh, using sudo apt-get uh, you you can get the program uh, like this here i already have a uh, x christian install on my pc here you can see that okay leave it now uh, to plot a uh, crystal structure using lmto uh, we need to have some uh, information about the, the compound or the crystal uh, uh, which we are going to plot uh, in this tutorial video i am going to plot a uh, crystal structure of nisc3 here uh, we know that the space group uh, of number of uh, nisc3 is 205 and the lattice constant is uh, 11.26 at 3 atomic units and position of ni is this and the position of s is this uh, here i will plot this uh, uh, the structure of uh, nisc3 using this uh, uh, values okay uh, let me begin this at first uh, we need to create uh, some new directory to uh, work on uh, LMTO. LMTO creates uh, some uh, basic files, LM, uh, control files and other files. Uh, so, we have to, it is better to have a separate folder. Uh, first, okay, let me go to desktop. Desktop, okay. Uh, for easy access, I will uh, make a new directory on desktop. Here you can see that there is only one folder on my desktop. Now, I will create with the help of mkdir mkdir means make directory it creates a, a folder uh, in your directory here uh, for tutorial okay i'm making this now i'll go to this folder okay you can see there is nothing on this folder uh, here is nothing on this folder okay uh, there is nothing now let me begin uh, the, uh, the lmto program to execute the lmto we use command l m i n i t this is a command and this uh, runs the program and in uh, some uh, packages of lmto we use lmto dot r u n run it's the uh, lm i n i t or l m i n i t dot run it depends on package which you have installed on your PC. Okay, in my uh, program, I don't have dot run command. Okay, so I begin with this. Uh, as you uh, give this command, it will ask for uh, the space group number. Here, the space group number of NISA3 is 205. So I put it here 205. Now here we can see that uh, the space group is pa3 and the nature of the crystal system is uh, cubic and uh, number is 205 and now it asks for us for the atomic units here uh, the team is, the default is atomic units and uh, uh, else uh, we can uh, give this in angstrom uh, to enter it in angstrom we have to type f or otherwise we have to accept the default value um, uh, for atomic units the default value is t here here is the position default value is t and i have entered t now the atomic unit lattice parameter is in atomic units is 1 11.2683 11.2683 okay now enter now it access for the uh, size of, of the first atom element here the first atom is nickel and here you can directly enter ni nickel the position is default i select default value 
and <coughs> another is SE SE okay and the position of SE is uh, 0 0.383 0 0.383 in all direction 0 0.383 0 0.383 and 0 0.383 okay now there are only two systems NA and SE so we must quit the program don't uh, uh, enter A we, we have to enter Q okay Q now here you can see that uh, the uh, space occupied the uh, the lattice in uh, under 48 symmetry operation and the crystal is invariant under the 24 symmetry operations the centering type is B uh, point group is M3, M3 and space group is P3 uh, the, it, the calculation time for this information is 0 0.01 seconds only uh, the the total <coughs> size occupied by uh, this uh, program now for this calculation is uh, 11 110,000 kg now we have done with the LMA and AT and we already provide the information required for this now we use LMSAT uh, and LM uh, th the LMSAT is for hard to for calculation and SMO will is over calculation. Now LMES, then LMCTL, it creates the control file. Then LM, it compiles and it changes the file. Here you can see, I will show this. Here in this folder, here you can see there are number of files uh, being generated and uh, as you all uh, I already mentioned we are working on this folder tutorial folder okay, okay let me make this a bit larger uh, it's calculating LM is taking time and here you can see that uh, there are uh, here this LMQ is generating different files band C back control file the control file is the file uh, under which all the informations are being uh, written okay it's done here we can see under the control file the position of each atoms and uh, the position is this group number generation type everything is uh, written here now for confirmation we retype this L LM again now the tax uh, tax here is to convert uh, the uh, LM file into the file type format with X Christian loads. Here we will convert this into X Christian file type. For this, we use command LM to XSF. This converts the file to X. SF uh, this generates another file no, it does not convert it generates another file this is now uh, it has created the this dot x uh, sf file so now uh, okay we load this file using x christian for this x christian uh, double slash dash not sorry not slash dash uh, x s f this dot x s f okay okay x christian is loading oh sorry something happened x it does not exist hmm. uh, something went wrong here okay i forgot gz gz okay this is the crystal structure <coughs> of NISC3. This is the required crystal structure. Here we can see uh, the these uh, atoms. The corner atoms are N atoms, and the uh, atoms L the golden uh, or L the L the atoms are S atoms. Uh, we can modify this also to display display. Uh, atomic symbols here you can see this okay I hope this video helped you
and uh, in the new uh, next video i will show you how to plot band structure and density of states using uh, lmq program thank you thank you for watching this video thank you